inui tamani nuna vimme akuni marialo tamani tui si vuole potuta tamanga ranga suma inu chuta temanga ni tamani chuta tamani chuta As our plane came in final approach of Tesuyak, a small community located at the mouth of the Leaf River in the Yangava Bay, I knew cliches were about to dissolve. <laughs> the Inuit, the people of the north, the legends of the first inhabitants of Nunavik fed my childhood fantasies. A nation of nomads roaming the ice floe aboard their dog sleds in the eternal quest for the seals and fish that will allow them subsistence and survival. Legends were to face reality, and the gap in between both was to be filled. What with exactly, I couldn't know before I met with the Kane family. When the chance to travel to Ungava showed up, my first thought was for the fish we were going to find there. Nunavik is the epitome of true wilderness. In such a place, the fish are big, numerous, and most of all, they are practically untouched by man. Kuwalo, Tasuya Mio, no Atu Tilipalo, Ihalunia, we have you so much on it, Oma, Silvio, so Tetsumanillo, Civil Living, but Atu Souvenir in Manga, Tetsumanilla, Lato Tatana, Kuwalo, Oma, Yonic, Kuhalunianic. Three species inhabit the Leaf River estuary. Siren brook trout, Atlantic salmon, and Arctic char. Tricking one of each and thus completing the Arctic Grand Slam is an idea that haunted Alexi and me. To realize this quest, we will have to learn from those who know the where's and how's of this gigantic estuary, the Inuit. Their tradition is based on sharing. This cultural trait was reflected in the knowledge they passed along to us and the experiences they brought us to live. Underneath the rugged surface of their ancestral hunting and fishing ground, we met with the inconceivable richness of the north. As a sportsman, living such an experience with the Inuit is a true reality check. 
Fishing is in my culture, it's in my blood, but it doesn't and will never carry the same weight and signification to me than to an enemy. And if the futility of my quest for the Grand Slam slowly appeared bigger and bigger, it was soon replaced by the deep appreciation of having shared an event as meaningful and solemn as the harvesting of a seal. The gap between legend and reality was filled by my encounter with the people of the North. What remained was a deep respect for a culture that goes forward, adapts and evolves while remaining the same. To the proud people of Nunavik, thank you. Nakurmik. <laughs>